Hello. In this chapter, we will talk about assets and textures. In Unity, assets uh, refer to all the elements that you use to create your game or application. This includes everything from 3D models, textures, audio files, scripts, animations, and more. Assets can be created within Unity itself, uh, imported from external sources like modeling software or downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. Unity's asset management system helps you organize, preview, and manipulate these assets within your project. As an example, we will download an asset uh, from the Unity Asset Store. Um, its name is Ink Painter and it is free to use. Uh, if you search this name uh, in Google, then we will go to uh, Asset Store page and in the S in the ink painter page if we click this add to my assets it will automatically download it and include our uh, a a unity account so of course before this we have to have a, uni a unity account to download uh, this asset um, and there's also a eula agreement here so we cannot uh, use this asset for commercial purposes and we cannot distribute to other people so and after uh, clicking this this button will turn to a, at uh, open this in unity then um, it we will see if we click open uh, package manager we will see this page this is unity interface of unity package manager and we see in ink painter here uh, I have already downloaded this uh, to my Unity Package Manager, so we can see it here. And if we click um, Import button here, um, it will automatically um, import the Ink Painter asset under the, the project section of Unity, under the uh, the assets we can see it here um, it's not only specific for ink painter actually if we download any kind of assets like audio fbx um, model files textures we will see in under the asset section here uh, let's have a look the what's included in assets um, um, section um, so it's always a, we find editor here and it will be it will include some scripts for example the, the, this right side of the of the the inspectors for example we can put boot button here or this kind of manipulations we can do uh, we can uh, include uh, scenes download some scenes and include here and um, we can uh, also store our scripts here that we can after in any kind of um, unity application we attach this uh, script to some games or game object for mini mono behavior scripts also um, also some uh, ui toolkit uh, folder here Um, now um, let's create a 3D um, object on the in the scene and then change its uh, texture. Um, for creating um, a 3D object in the scene, we can right click here, then 3D object. For example, we can create another sphere here. Uh, if you click this um, sphere two game object here, then um, here uh, on the right side mesh renderer this element zero is um, um, the texture section of the game object if you click here this one we see many textures here which is mostly from um, the ink painter asset that we downloaded and imported our um, project so let's change it by clicking like this we can change it to any texture, uh, whatever we want. Um, uh, 
and uh, also we can change this um, uh, texture and here on the uh, left section and we see ink painter assets here and um, if we go for example the texture and materials we can basically drag and drop here and change the texture We can also um, uh, change the texture by uh, creating our uh, texture file or we can, for example, um, also um, use some FBX uh, files and we can convert it to the, as a texture file, like uh, a file with a PNG extension and we um, include here, then we can change the, uh, the texture of the object. Um, here actually I um, I have already created a PNG file uh, from the first slide of this video. I then I this PNG file I can basically drag and drop here. Yes. Then if we again drag and drop this PNG file, PNG extension file here. As we see, we can change the change the uh, texture with our own downloaded and created file here. Um, there is another way uh, to also change this uh, texture of the object. Um, it is via script. In the um, next as the next, we will see it, how, how, how can we change the, the texture via script. Uh, now uh, let's uh, change the texture of this game's object using uh, a script. Um, for this purpose, I already wrote a script and put under the assets slash scripts uh, path here. Its name is change uh, texture. Um, so if you want to attach this script to our game object we can basically drag and drop again here and we can see it was attached to our game object and another way also we can use add component here let's remove this one add component by yeah you can write its name and find this script here let's add yes we can add like this also now if we can if we double click here we see the it will open visual studio now we can see our code here the code basically um at, at the, the start it reads the path then it's um, load the texture by using uh, system IO um, and read all by functions the path and then uh, read the, uh, the PNG file then it uh, convert to a texture 2D then uh, load as an image then it, uh, by using uh, the, <coughs> uh, the renderer uh, it put uh, as a to, to the the main main texture component to new texture and if we run our game we, we can see the, our white colored object it was here now it changed the color to the uh, different colors also we can um, we can uh, put this uh, sphere to object under canvas sphere and we can uh, kind of make a parent child uh, mechanism here so for the future if you want to manipulate this for example this uh, game object it's it would be very easy for us to uh, um, manipulate also this object at the same time like imagine we changing the, the position of this um, 
uh, game ob parent game object uh, we can also change um, this um, uh, game object position by depending on uh, the parent one um, but we will uh, see implementation in the future for this um, in unity there is a very good feature um, it is uh, creating prefabs um, by using prefabs actually we can just move or migrate our um, games engine um, game objects to another scenes without destroying its hierarchy or um, the scripts that attach to them um, it's very useful for for um, moving the, the the assets to another um, another scenes or another projects so now let's um, create a prefab by using this to um, parent and child game object here it's very easy in unity we just drag and drop to here it create a prefab like you see here and if we create prefab if uh, the, the game object is automatically turned to the blue color so now um let's change this scene to another scene i will choose the scene from ink painter let's choose this one Okay, let's get the, our prefab from other scene. It was this one I will put here. Here is the size big in this scene. Let's make it smaller, changing the scale here. Yeah, we see our game objects here, and we see also the child one, the mini uh, sphere is here, and um, this mini. Sphere includes uh, was included a script here, so we can see the script. So we can by this um, by prefabs we can use this um, use any uh, assets or uh, game object in another project or scenes.